Come on, let's give him another rousing applause. I'd like quickly for Mr. Paul Light to come and stand with me, please. <clears throat> We want to praise God for some wonderful <clears throat> corporate partners who bless the church and give us the opportunity to bless our people. Mr. Paul Light is president of Drug Place. He's present to publicly endorse our programs and our ministries. I want to thank God for the relationship that we have had with Mr. Paul Light and his organization because lives have been saved and changed by the work that they do. They've conducted diabetes screening programs here at our convocation in the past. And in a recent screening, I think you said that you found about 70% of the people who were screened had diabetes. And of that number that was screened, I think it was 20 people who were sent directly to the hospital, and of that 26 of them who just came for convocation but decided to be screened, 20 of them needed to go to the hospital immediately, and six of them remained at the hospital for a period of time receiving treatment. Also, they found about 20 people who were on the verge of strokes and they received immediate treatment because of Mr. Paul Light and his organization. Let's give him a big rousing applause. As they are able to serve our people, they're able to be blessed as a business and out of the blessings that they receive and expect to receive as they serve our people, they bring contributions to us for opening the door and allowing them to serve our people. Mr. Paul Light has a contribution he wants to make on this night, and I'm just going to let him say hello and do what he has come to do on this night. Give him a hand, please. Thank you. Bishop, uh, it's my honor to present this check to you, to the Church of God in Christ, and thank you for letting us help you and we help ourselves to help ourselves. Thank you. Well, I hold in my hand a check for $25,000 and is the first contribution toward a $125,000 gift that they are making to the Church of God in Christ this year. Let's praise God for them. Everyone clap your hands and praise God for their generosity. Thank you so much, Brother Light, and we look forward to a wonderful relationship and a wonderful time of sharing. Well, let's praise God for Bishop Newell Haynes, who is our MC for tonight, doing an excellent job. How we praise God for him, all of our general board members, Bishop Jerry Macklin, second assistant, Bishop Chandler D David Owens, former presiding bishop and general board member, and all of the general board members. Let's clap our hands and praise God for them. Well, the board of bishops had an election on today. I have not been given the results of those elections, and I, d I don't know the details of it, but is there a, the, 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 the secretary of the Board of Bishops? Come quickly and tell us how the election went and uh, who was elected and who was not elected. Mr. Chairman, do you want to take a swing at it? The chairman of our General Assembly was with them. He, 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 I don't think he has any notes with him, but would you just stand and introduce to us the new officers of the Board of Bishops, please? Let's give our Chairman of the General Assembly, Bishop J.O. Patterson, Jr., a rousing applause. Thank you, Bishop Blake. I'm not sure that I remember everybody that was in there. I conducted the election. Uh, I, I remember that uh, the most outstanding uh, person who was uh, elected there was the current chairman, the Bishop John H. Sheard. Uh, Bishop Sheard, why don't we give you the pleasure of 
introducing your fellow members of the executive board. Thank you, uh, Mr. Presiding Bishop and Bishop Patterson. I was elected as the chairman for the next four years. I think I thank my brothers who were responsible for voting for me. The vice chairman was Bishop William Watson. The second vice chairman was Bishop Benjamin Payne Collins. The secretary unopposed was Bishop Larry Shaw. The assistant secretary was Bishop Hester Bardo. Who is? Who is? Who is? The treasurer of our board was the Bishop Cody uh, V. Marshall. Who is? Who is? Who is? That's it. Thank you. Sergeant, it almost who? Bishop Harold Benjamin. God bless. We had 179. Uh, bishops present. I thank the bishops for giving me 130 votes. Thank you so much, Bishop. Bishop Blake. Thank you, Bishop Patterson. Thank you, sir. Well, let's give all of these new officers of the Board of Bishops a rousing applause. I want to commend the chairman and all of those who were elected. We're excited about working with you and serving with you and being with you. If I get reelected, we're going to have a good four-year period in the days that are to come. Let's give them another rousing applause. We do want to thank God for our missions department, Bishop Moody, and those who presented on this night the program of missions and global missions around the world. Bishop Moody, would you stand just one more time and let's give this president a rousing applause. How touched we were, how blessed we were to hear him as he described some of the experiences that he has had on the missions field. For more than 30 years, he has served and worked as head of our missions department. The world has been impacted by his ministry and by his service. He said that it was against the law to preach in Malawi without being authorized to do so, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm really praising God because I preached all over Malawi just last year and they didn't even know I was preaching. It must have been something about my message that they didn't notice. But I'm glad I got out of that country without being put in jail. Thank you, Bishop Moody, and all of the missionaries that have reported on tonight and who are with us on this night I want you to know that we love missions. We feel such a responsibility to our brothers and sisters who serve across the world and do the work of the Lord. And we want again with Bishop Macklin to encourage everybody to make sure that you make your special loyalty contribution, that you receive your card. Bishops, you want to wear that, uh, what is it called? Uh, medallion and express and testify of your generous support of this effort. Every dime that is contributed for our lay reports, our laity or loyalty reports, every dime of it is going for the educational and missions program of the Church of God in Christ. Now I'm hoping that every one of you will be listed as a giver, as a supporter of this effort. We're asking every member of the Church of God in Christ to give a $20 contribution. That is just over a dollar a month, less than $2 a month for your national church. Look at your neighbor and say, you can give $2 a month for the work of your national church. And I would believe you can especially do it when you know that this money is going for the support of our missions program and for the support of our schools. There are opportunities all around the grounds of the convention for you to make this contribution. Bishop Macklin, where is the main place you want them to go to make that contribution? Pastors and bishops, we're certainly expecting that all of you will support us. Come quickly, just tell us where we can give this. God bless you. Thank you, Bishop Blake. On the main floor at Cook Convention Center, you will find a place there 
right across from Bishop Blake's booth. You'll find a place there to make that contribution. Also upstairs on the second floor, Cook Convention Center coming out. On the main floor here, you'll also find a place to do the same. And tonight, for those who want to complete their uh, contributions for their medallions, you don't have to look for that place. We have set a place up over here to the side, right to my left. You can walk there and make your contribution, complete your contribution, and pick up your medallion. You can have it on before the service is over. And incidentally, this is a certificate that every church will receive when your church makes their presentation, when they make their contribution of loyalty and laity. Every church will receive this beautiful certificate for their church wall and their office. And I hope that it'll look good on your wall, your office, frame not included. All of these contributions will go up immediately on the internet and will be located on the web page and website. So we hope that every bishop and every pastor will have your church listed, your contribution listed, and credit given to you for the support that you give to our national church. I want to praise God for our beloved mother, Willie Mae Rivers, who is not with us on tonight. Let's give her a rousing applause in her absence. My own wife, Sister May L. Blake, is here on tonight. Let's praise God for her. My family is represented on tonight. My dear brother, Superintendent and Administrative Assistant J.A. Blake Jr. and his wife, Sister Dorothy Blake, are here. Would you please stand? And I want my son, Charles E. Blake II, and his wife, Deandra, to stand, and they're holding Charles E. Blake III is here tonight. Stand up and hold, brother. Charles E. Blake III up. Love them so much and praise God for them. I wanted them to be mentioned. They're going to be here Sunday also, but we may not have an opportunity to mention them individually. I wanted to do that on tonight. Where's Brother Lawrence Blake? Brother Lawrence, my apostolic adjutant. Let's praise God for him. He's with me always, and we praise God for his love for his father. Kojic Charities Banquet is Saturday at 3 p.m. Brother Lyles will, I'm sure, say more about that. But many of you have reserved tickets, but you have not picked up your tickets, and you've not paid for them. The final count has to be given to the hotel on this evening or early tomorrow morning, and we want everyone to be sure that you are present with us at the Kojic Charities Banquet. Our speaker for this year is the one and only Reverend Eugene Rivers, who is retained by MSNBC, and you've seen him time and time again this week. He is co-founder of Save Africa's Children and the Pan-Africa's Children's Fund. He is an anointed and a wise and informed commentator on today's affairs. He'll be speaking to us at the banquet, and you need to hear him. I want to ask your prayers for Dr. Lauren Mann. He was going to his pulpit on this past Sunday and felt pain in his right arm. And the ultimate result of it was that there were two blood clots on his lungs that the doctors discovered. They kept him home to slowly dissolve those blood clots in the hospital, and he is not with us. We miss him. Pray also for Bishop Bryant Robinson of the greater Massachusetts jurisdiction. He just completed a church, completed the construction of his new church, and individuals, I understand, and I don't want to say it for fact, but I've received it from source after source after source, that there were individuals who were displeased about the election of Barack Obama, and they set Bishop Brian Robinson's new church afire and burned it to the ground. So we extend our prayer, our sympathy, and we pray that God will give a peace across this nation that will alleviate and oppress blacks or whites who are reactionary and who are violent and inclined to disrupt the peace of our society, that the Lord will suppress them and withhold them from doing their diabolic deeds. One more thing, I understand we've got a 105-year-old evangelist in the house on tonight. I don't know where dad is, but we just want to acknowledge and recognize him. He's somewhere here. Where is dad? Bishop McKinney, please tell us more about dad, if you will. What is his name? 
That is Dad Otis Clark, 105 years old, still preaching the gospel of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Just stand right there, Dad, and wave at the people. Come on, wave at them. Let's give him a rousing applause. God bless you. Dad Otis Granville Clark. We did not want to end our service without acknowledging him and praising God for him. At this time, we're going to return you to Bishop Newell Haynes that he might continue to lead us in this time of worship. Let's give Bishop Haynes a rousing applause. 